today I'm going to be showing you something pretty cool and that is a very nice parallax text scrolling effect that you can produce and create for your own website. What's up guys, Tristan Parker here and I'm committed to helping you up your website design game and your business. Now if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. Now this animated text effect that I'm talking about is something that I've seen on the web quite a few years ago, um, mostly on websites like awards or designer portfolios. But recently I saw that Ran Segal had created a video showing you how you can create this within Webflow. Now I don't actually use Webflow so I figured, okay, let's take what I've learned here and see if I can do this within Elemental Pro. So just to let you know, this isn't going to be a step-by-step -step video. This is more of a, here is what I have and I'm going to talk you through the key steps that you need to know in order to produce something for yourself. I've also added a link to the template file down below. So if you want to swipe it and upload it to your own website to see how it's working, feel free to do so. Before we jump on the computer, I did pre-record this video and I noticed there's a little bit of mouse movement. My mouse was a bit close to the microphone, so you might pick up on that. So apologies but anyway let's go before we get started let me just run you through what we have here so let's just wait for this to load so as you can tell the intro animation looked awesome and I'm not going to be covering that in this tutorial but I do have a tutorial that explains about intro animations and I can put a link to that in the description if you'd like to check that out but if we scroll you can see that we have this really nice text effect that's uh, passing through this image so yeah let's just get into it we're going to head over to our elemental editing environment and i'm not going to show you step by step how this has been done but what i'm going to do is just break it down break down the steps and and sort of talk you through the the process and how this has been achieved so let's start off with We've got a header here, now this, this isn't too important, it's, it's a little bit redundant, but underneath here we have our section, so here I'm using a navigator and if you're not sure how to get there just right click on any element within Elementor and then head down to navigator and you will then be given this screen. So this is our section and if I hide that you'll see that everything disappears, so let's put that back in. And then I have a single column and then within there you'll see that I've got four lots of text. Now what this is essentially doing is it has a line of text sat behind the image and then it also has a line of text sat on top of the text behind the image and also on top of the image. Now that top layer of text is only using outlines and of course you can't see it because it's sat on top of this here. So it's actually a very, very clever way of, of producing this effect. It's, it's, uh, it almost looks like it's masking through the image, but in fact it's just two text layers. So let me show you in a little bit more detail. So here we've got heading inspired by the best made just for you. So this is the the top line that we're working with. So if I hide that one, you'll notice that that one is the one at the back. So fade that one back in. So let me explain how this is working. So we've got this heading. Now you need to absolutely position this. So if we head over to advanced here and go to positioning, you'll notice that I've got it absolutely positioned. Now there is no offset on this one because it's the top one. And you'll notice that it's, it's hugging its parent container. So this column here, within our menu is sitting just above the text so this line of text we have absolutely positioned but we are not offsetting at all the text that's sitting on top of this one that is just the text outline I have third in our navigation section now you can see that it also says inspired by the best if we head over to advanced and go to positioning, you'll notice that this is also absolutely positioned. So it's gonna position itself in exactly the same position as the, the heading that we have here. One other thing to note is because we're using absolute positioning, I'm also relying on Z indexing. Now this one has a Z index of one, and this is the text that is currently at the back. Now if I select the text that is sitting on top, and go to advanced this has a z index of nine so that's essentially saying that i need that one to to sit higher in the hierarchy than 
this text behind it which has a z-index of one now that you can see how the text is layered and, and somewhat sandwiched between the image we've got the text behind and we have the outline text that's sitting right at the front let's show you how to go about animating it so when i scroll you'll notice it's, it's moving in a direction and we can do that just by going to motion effects and adding a horizontal scroll so you'll see here i've got a speed of four the direction is to the left and the, the viewport is like full width and again those exact same motion effects will need to be applied to the layer behind so they are consistent they're going to be moving at the same speed at the same time now the text underneath in terms of the motion so if i select the fourth layer in our text panel it's, it highlights this one that starts 25% off. And you'll notice the horizontal scroll is pretty similar to the top one, but this time we're putting a direction to the right. So you'll notice that they are going in separate directions. So that's how you achieve that. Now, while we have this selected, let me show you the positioning of this one. So again, it's absolute, but the vertical offset we have got at 136. Now, if we move that, you'll notice that the layers are going to start separating. So make sure you stick that to a, you can use a pixel or a percentage, but whatever you set to the offset, you're going to have to apply to the, the layer behind as well. That is, it's important that that is consistent. Otherwise they are going to be slightly out of line. So yeah, that's how we're achieving our text effect with Elementor. Now, don't forget that we have an image that we are working with here. So we've got an image within the same column container as our text. And you can see within our navigator hierarchy, it's towards the bottom. But what we've done with this is, despite it being placed at the bottom and underneath the text, we've actually used a negative margin in pixels to pull that image up and you can play around with this depending on your needs and preferences but more importantly we have also applied a z-index now remember that our z-index of the text layer was one the z-index of our top text layer which is just the outline is nine so we need to pick a figure that's in between there and i've chosen two and that is going to position itself right in the center so one final thing, you might be wondering how we have the outline on our text within HTML and CSS. But what we've had to do here is just apply a little bit of custom CSS. And if we select our top layer text layer, which I've got selected here, head over to advanced and then custom CSS. And you'll see that I've got this one here. So we are using a couple lines of CSS, which is just basically web kit text stroke width. We've got a two, two pixel width here and we've colored it black in this, uh, in this situation. Uh, you can, you can change the width if you want. Uh, you know, if you want it to be three pixels, you, you can. And again, as you can see, like it's just going to get thicker or four pixels. So I'm happy with two. You can change the color as, as well if you want, you know, red it, you can basically do what you want here but yeah just grab those two lines of text or, or copy it from this video make sure when applying the css that we are using the right class now this upper text class has been applied to this top layer of text and if we head back up to advanced you'll see that it has a css class here of upper text so make sure that you have everything in place that you need add the animations and everything and yeah you can have a really nice professional scrolling effect on your website so hopefully guys you found that valuable personally i think this is a really nice text scrolling effect which is easier to do than i first thought and hopefully now you have the tools to be able to take this and implement it into your own website designs now guys if you've liked this video please give it a thumbs up it actually helps the youtube algorithm and other people finding my content if you haven't done so already guys i'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification if you want to be notified of future releases this channel is full of videos that are designed to help you up your website design game and business and just create more professional looking website designs that's it for now guys and i'll catch you in the next one